or else the camera would follow me into the shed. So we're not sitting here with a, a dull moment of awkwardness, of silence, I guess. <laughs> I used to play a little bit of music too, but YouTube is, I don't know, making it harder to use music. You gotta do all these tags and whatnot. And it's like, we all know it's not my music. But they kind of, I just kind of, I just, I just rather have my YouTube working instead of having all that, uh, all the things I gotta go through. This one looks like it kind of rolled around in my dirt a little bit. We're gonna get rid of that part. It's just the outside of it. Sometimes it's just, that's just part of being in the wild. And, Right now these are kind of a little bit more defrosted, so I know once I cut them and I start stacking them, they're gonna get really defrosted. So I'll get them on it right now so I'm not dealing with flimsy pieces of jerky right off the bat. It's like a big adult puzzle too when you're doing it. Have you ever let someone do it for the first time? Watch the way they put it on, put the, the meat on there. It's all over the place. They'll have one face in this way, one this way, two this way, and then sometimes it's entertaining to watch people do that because I just like, I don't know, in my head it's, the process is different. So sometimes you learn a lot of stuff. I learn a lot of things from when I'm showing people. Uh, it, it's, just, it's just a different point of view. So when I show people or let them do something new and they always, even if they don't know what they're doing, they always teach me something. Of course, they teach me what not to do a lot of the times, but it's pretty cool. They teach me little, little tricks sometimes just because you never notice that it's stuck in your ways when you get older, too. If you guys don't know, I live by a school, so just kids. It's, it's a normal thing every day if you're not at work. I hear these kids scream all the time. Not my household. <laughs> They're literally like right next to me. Like I could probably, I go, I could go out there and then they'll start talking to me. And they're like, it smells like jerky. Or they always will say something. Sometimes, sometimes they won't though. Just depends on what grade's out there, I guess. Or if they know me. Because if they don't know me, they don't say nothing stick to their business. They don't even play marbles no more either, that's crazy. I thought that was a fad that would never ever go away. But now we're starting on the third rat. Kind of repetitious at this point. Now we're just filling it in, so. Uh, trying to think of anything, other little pointers or tip. This one's fatty, but oh well. Most of the time you just eat around it anyway. Like this one's really fat. That must've been the start of the back trip, so. I don't suggest you putting it in there, but it doesn't. If you can eat around it, it's all right too. These uh, sheets cost about 50 bucks a piece to have them cut it. Because normally you have to go over to a metal shop, Rath Burns or somewhere and have them cut it. Your local steel shop or something kind of spindy so make sure you get the right uh, you gotta get the right sizes that you want to make sure to burn them off too stuff like that teflon uh, is the blade that's on here and I, I try to get that because I don't want it I don't want it sticking to because uh, before it did like a suction cut the ones I did and that drove me nuts. It was just like I was fighting that slicer the whole time. Webstrom, uh, you gotta read a lot of two of the slicers too. You gotta read what they're saying on there. Like one time I ordered a slicer and they said it's not meant for cutting meat. I was like, what does that mean? Cause they asked me, well, what did you cut with? I was like, meat, that's why it's a meat slicer, right? And they went back to warranty up. And when you invest something like that, you kind of would like them to be like, not try to figure, be all sketchy and try to get out of their warranties or something. So 
So by me cutting me, I broke my warranty and they wouldn't honor it. When it it's, it, it, I can't remember what happened to the last slicer. It's the same one. And that was from Web, Web Strong too. So regardless of where you get them, make sure you read the warranty and all these things. The reviews. Sometimes those help, but sometimes like me, but I didn't get on there and put a bad review. I was mad, but I didn't get on there. But that one, the one person that does that crazy review could swing your, your vote from what slicer or what you're gonna buy too. It's just because they did them wrong. But there's ways I can contact them too. I like to, I like to contact them with like the people. Depending on like, I guess it would be the way it's set up for the reviews or anything. Because sometimes you can get on there and it would be like a Facebook and you could comment and then they, they can respond to you. That's what they do. Sometimes they're just pissed off and they don't care. They're just mad. But make sure you read the reviews too, especially if you're spending this much money. Don't get duped like that. Because that always sucks. I was like $600 just like that. Had it for, shoot, I didn't even have it that long. Maybe three months or something. And then they were like, oh, we're not gonna honor that. So I was like, yeah. All right, I'll remember that. And then they seen where I was coming from. So then they were trying to sell me other stuff for where I worked. And I was like, you guys gotta be kidding me. So that was kind of weird. The manager of the place, he's like, oh, I see where you're working. And he was trying to get into like the whole sales of everything. And I'm like, I'm trying to buy a knife. I was buying knives at the same time, but I buy everything from the whip shop. It's, it, they're kind of expensive on their, uh, their shipping. It's kind of crazy, their shipping. It's like, you gotta pay attention to that too. So if you can find anything on Amazon that's cheaper, I'd get it Amazon because they, they get it here in only two days or whatnot. And, This is rack number three that we're putting out. Be back to finish up the full. Number four. Speeding up the process a little bit. We're gonna this stuff without having to sit here all night listening to me. Kind of want to go slower though. I told myself I'm gonna do a uh, a slower version of it, longer but slower. Show everybody. I don't know if anybody's gonna want to sit through 30 minutes of me laying meat and talking. Maybe. Sometimes you can catch things. Instead of have to rewind, rewind. You can just keep watching and then see what happens. The, the knives that I use are Mercer, six inch, bony knife. The road's right next to me too, so. When I'm out here doing this, people drive by me. They will wave at me. Kind of like the thing, the neighbors when they drive by, they'll see me in here and honk around or wave. Or they just come over like this. But these guys are just turning around. I went on a buffalo hunt, so people think, I don't think they know I'm quite home yet. I haven't really said nothing about it. Today, just chill, get stuff done. This is one of the things I want to get done today is do this. I'm making a video. Now these parts are kind of sloppy. I don't know, they're all over, but once they dry out, they get either, they get easier to manipulate. Then 
Once they get towards the tail of the end, they get frost when you know, make slices and then you just take them home. What is it called? Carne? Carne asada? That's kind of what you could do. Just cook it in. Nice thin little steaks. Oh, steaks. It's good. Get some broccoli. A lot of times too, what I, I will and I have done is that uh, I'll make the slices bigger. And then, so when I'm doing my canning or anything like that, I can, I can use it. And it's easier like cutting. And then I have a, a french fry cutter. So when I do like carrots or vegetables, I just throw, I just put them in chunks and then I just throw them in there. Or the peas and iron. And then, I don't know, just do a bunch of different things to, to uh, do my canning and cutting so this saves time. I'm all about saving.